How do we fix Canon's blue problem? You guys have heard me say that on the channel before, right? This is straight out of the camera with the Canon LUT applied. And this is how we fix the blue problem. Welcome back to another video. Thank you for taking a little bit of your time and spending it here with me. Today, we're going to talk about how it is that we can fix Canon's blue problem. I like the rich color that I'm able to get out of a red camera. And Canon is known for its awesome color science, right? So how do we make sure that we get the most out of the Canon color science? So we're going to use this super simple scene with the chip chart, as well as me wearing the same blue sweatshirt so that you guys can see sort of what I'm talking about in the evolution of the fix. Be sure to watch the entire video. If you shoot with a Canon R5C, there's a special treat in here for you. Let's get started. This is the way that the shot was arranged and what it looked like straight out of camera. Now let's apply the Canon provided LUT for C-Log3 YDR. For those of you new to the channel, I'm not a big fan of the Canon provided LUTs. I think that they provide a very good starting point, but as you can see in the clip, my face looks a little bit Oompa Loompa-ish, and the blue is not quite blue, and the blue chip on the chip chart is actually leaning towards purple. And depending on where the light is hitting my sweatshirt, it's also leaning towards purple. And that's what we're going to fix with a technical LUT that remaps the primaries to their appropriate targets. And what you're seeing now is that the colors are more true to their original targets. The other thing that that LUT took care of was manage the oversaturation in the red channel as well as the weird skew in the green channel. And now that we've managed to remap the primaries to their appropriate targets, we need to balance out the color and bring back some of that saturation. And of course, this is where it's really important that you've already taken care of things like white balance, making sure you nailed it, making sure that your contrast is correct, and making sure that your exposure is where you want it to be for your scene. And while this is beginning to look okay, it's not quite ready for delivery. This is when I like to take and apply q Cinetone to my footage so that it doesn't look like it came out of a camcorder or a VHS tape. So once I've applied q Cinetone, then this image to me is ready for delivery, ready for web delivery, ready for streaming, ready for broadcast, and even ready for any kind of stylization that you might want to apply to give it a more unique or your individual look for your project. So here's the offer to all of you who are shooting on the R5C. Today only, so one day, 24 hours, from the time that this video is published until tomorrow at the exact same time, anyone who reaches out to me will be able to get a download, free download for this LUT. I think that's a pretty good offer. If you're interested, if you want to tame the blue, tame the reds, create a nice color contrast and balance of color and saturation out of your R5C, have it be ready for web delivery, for social media, for YouTube, and even broadcast, this LUT will get you to where you need to be. I'm gonna include two versions of it. One of them is a 33 cube, which is ideal for monitoring. So you can monitor exactly the way that your image would look once you apply the LUT in post. And of course, this is for C-Log3. And I'll include the 65 cube version so that you can use that when you are applying it in post-production and get the most color information out of it, and the more accurate color information out of it. So again, 24 hours. If you're interested, hit me up. You guys know how to reach me. You can reach me through social media. If you have my cell, you can text me or you can send an email. And until next time, I'm Carlos, and hopefully we continue to build these tools to help all of us level up together and get the most out of our cameras. Talk to you guys soon. Catch up with you guys in the comments. Take care.